to develop new ways to explore worlds that are far away from the Earth. We need accessible proving grounds to test our hardware and software under realistic conditions before flight. For Raven, we found a location in Iceland with a similar look and feel to volcanic regions on Mars. Hallerhun includes some of the newest real estate in the world, with lava flows that erupted just five years ago. This barren region of the Icelandic highlands has hardly any vegetation, but what makes Hallerhun especially interesting as a Mars analog site is that heat from the lava helped to bring a new hydrothermal system to life. The lava flowed onto a vast expanse of sand and interacted with water to create an ephemeral hydrothermal system that supported algae, endospore-forming bacteria, and other extreme forms of life. This is exciting because similar trains on Mars may also have supported microbes. But until now, young volcanic trains on Mars have been too difficult to explore on the ground. Drones could now make these rugged volcanic trains accessible for the first time. NASA's traditional paradigm of planetary exploration usually starts with a flyby of a target planet, moon, asteroid, or comet to study it from a distance. Then, a spacecraft is launched that goes into orbit to make longer-term observations. Next, a lander is usually sent, which sits at one place on the surface and takes measurements. Finally, you send a rover that visits many locations and studies them up close. Raven led flight to this list. The Raven prototype has six propellers and generates enough lift to hoist its airframe's weight of about 22 pounds, plus 13 pounds of payload. It can fly for 35 minutes and travel about three miles. Testing Raven in Iceland will help us to determine what instruments are the most essential for exploring volcanic terrains and allow us to determine what instruments can be dropped to keep the drone's weight as light as possible. This is important because the Martian atmosphere is about 100 times less dense than the Earth's. To keep weight down, carbon fiber will be our friend, because it's ultralight and very strong. Nonetheless, we'll have to be very selective about the instruments we use. As a step toward the goal of integrated rover and drone operations on Mars, the Mars 2020 mission will include a small helicopter called Ingenuity. Ingenuity will demonstrate flight on another world for the first time but after completing a series of tests, it will be shut down. Raven is going to directly build on what we've learned with Mars 2020 to test the next generation of Mars mission architectures, with the hope that in the near future, a rover and a drone will actively work together during a mission to explore another planet. If so, drones could act as sophisticated field assistants, scouting out safe routes and even collecting samples to bring back to the rover for analysis before deciding on the best locations to travel to next. Raven is therefore a key step in our exploration of different worlds by enabling us to fly by, land, rove, fly, and work together to achieve what has never been possible before.